Who is the Octoman? In May 2019, I made a trip to Megacon in Orlando, Florida to ask random pop culture fans if they knew who or what the Octoman was. I chose Megacon as my survey location because these were fellow geeks who might not know what the heck I was asking, but at least they would have fun talking about it anyway. If you don't know who the Octoman is yet, I'll talk more about him later on in this video. But first, I used a custom made miniature statue of the Octoman as a visual reference for the people I'd be surveying. I honestly did not expect anyone to know who or what this little creature was, or what movie he came from. To be totally honest, I didn't know who he was myself, until a bit more recently, when Rift Tracks chose the Octoman movie for one of the Rift Tracks live events. Alright, so I don't know how far this legend of the Octoman goes, but I want to see if it's ingrained in the culture of Florida here. So I'm going to walk and talk to some random people, and I want to see what they know, if they know anything about the Octoman. Let's go look for some people. Uh, sir? See. Si. Uh, can I ask you a question about this? Okay. Who is the Octoman? Uh, well, it looks like a few exes of mine that I've had back in the day, but offhand, I'd have to say it looks like some sort of, uh, Lovecraftian creature. Maybe an elder thing. Not sure offhand. Should I know who it is? Um, he looks like the bad guy from Big Bad Beetleborgs. <laughs> Gosh, okay. I don't. I want to know. I'd love to know. know I want to know more. I, I don't. I, I have nothing. I have no idea what this creature could be. I'll touch this guy. Whether it's good or evil, I think is the important question too. I like how he feels. I mean, judges. Feels I mean, nice. I mean, looks can be deceiving. So. Look at his eyes. Yeah. Uh, what's what's uh, what's this guy right here? It's, uh, this. Does a laser beam come out of his mouth? Uh, no, I actually don't. You hold it if you want. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> oh, he's, he's very malleable. If you were to give him a name, what would you call him? Um, Octo Squad. I don't know. That's actually pretty close. I don't know. Uh, Squibby. Oh, um, I have no idea. Let's give him a fun name. Yeah, give him a fun name. Let's call him, I want to call him like, Fred the Octopus. <laughs> oh gosh. Go floor absorb. I mean, yeah. absorb. I, I can't beat that. Yeah. Go floor absorb. Yeah. yeah. Just by looking at him, do you know what his uh, his uh, special uh, abilities might be? Well, it's got an octopus thing going on, so maybe something to do with ink. But it's got that mouth going on, so like in that Super Mario Brothers game, maybe it shoots eggs at you. Tricky little bugger. Um, so he throws water at people and then he can vomit fish. And so if you're like allergic to fish, watch out. <laughs> <laughs> I think he has friendly powers. He looks very friendly. Like, look at him. Or maybe he's kind of grumpy. No, he's hangry. <gasps> That's what it is. He's really hangry. So Fred, this isn't what Fred's normally like when you meet him. He's very friendly. His friendly power is he gets along with anyone and everyone. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Look at him. Or he's looking, he looks like he's giving you a hug. Like, ah, oh, hey there. Like, you, you look like hands. you need a hug, you know? Like. <laughs> okay, first of all, <laughs> definitely shoots a laser out of its mouth. It has to. Yeah. That. Can't shoot it out of its eyes. That's that's mine. So can't something take with that ink. Power. I think he's probably shooting ink. It's probably uh, blinding. I would say foes. super strength. Uh, Seems about right. Is this the accurate size of the creature? Uh, uh, the actual one's about your size. About my size. Right. Okay. I All was right. gonna say I have the ability to grow, probably with salt water <laughs> thrown on him. Uh, yeah. I I don't know. You come up with superpower. I mean, he kind of looks tie-dyed. You know. So I feel like at some point, um, you know, maybe back in the day, he got pretty crazy he was doing some tie-dye he was uh, well, who knows what he was doing but uh, you know the coloration on him is pretty wonderful and I think that it's probably a mix of camouflage to kind of blend into Ooh, whatever yeah, like yeah. Camouflage, psychedelic defensive. place he was in for a yeah. while and then he just like comes out like the uh, like the guards in Legends of the Hidden Temple and just like there burgles them all of yes sudden. exactly guards and I'd say like it has some sort of uh, of a brain so I feel like it wouldn't necessarily speak uh, on its own, but maybe through telepathy, telepathy. or telepathy, yeah. or what, what is it? no, yeah. it's yeah, yeah, telepathy, telepathy. yeah, telepathy. to speak, but it just makes weird noises on the outside. 
I would I would say. ¿Quién es el Octoman? The Octoman is a 1971 Mexican-American horror movie set in Mexico where scientists discover a mutated octopus living in radiated waters. The little octopus is able to crawl on land. The movie later reveals a much bigger octopus monster, the Octoman, who goes on a killing spree. The Octoman is a half-humanoid, half-serpent, yes, the movie calls it a serpent at one point, who has eight tentacles, but only makes use of four of those. It's implied that the octopus might be able to swim, but it's never seen doing so. On land, it walks at the same rate as a George Romero zombie. It has an interesting weakness towards flashlights, and it's later taken out by the heroes and their revolvers. The biggest sign of intelligence displayed by the Octoman is when he's seen waiting to ambush the heroes from inside their own Winnebago. That's who the Octoman is. Do not underestimate the usefulness of a Winnebago surprise attack. Get ready, give us a flashlight. It's, 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 I, I'm telling you, he's, he's dying. <laughs> she, she killed him. We got him. <laughs> he's dead. Oh, so he has like literally no special powers. No special powers. But everybody's special, so it's okay. <laughs> I almost like him better as Fred the Hangry Hugger. Maybe we'll call him that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, where can almost, we see this almost. creature? Yeah, we're, uh, in action. Look up the movie called Octoman. Octoman. It's, it's Octoman. It's a Mexican American movie. So, good guy or bad guy? Bad guy for sure. Oh yes, definitely. <laughs> I thought so, but I don't, you know, no. I don't know. He's got a nice, he's got a nice jawline. Uh, right. Think. We're stronger than mine, I would say, definitely. Oh, definitely <laughs> Octoman. Than yours. I'm gonna check it out. <laughs> so a lot of people did not know who the Octoman was, or at least they pretended not to know who he was. I think th the important thing is that we get the message out there and people know what to look for. That is the whole legacy of the Octoman.